Hey guys, I hope you guys are amazingly well. Um, so this training was supposed to be happening in a private Facebook group today. And today is Saturday, May the 6th, 2023. However, last night it dropped in and this morning it dropped in even more that I was supposed to pre-record this training, send it out to those who have registered for the live training and actually upload it onto YouTube for this imprint to move through the world. So for those that don't know who I am or the work that I do, I live and breathe in intuition and everything I do is within the alignment of what is dropping into my field. And I have learned how to do this through the years. I have learned how to step into this and trust it. And every single time I do this, it leads me down a pathway of amazingness. Okay. It doesn't mean that I'm not a human in this body experiencing life and that I have the challenges and the things that I go through in life. That it's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that when it drops in, I take action because I've learned through the years that when I don't, other things dynamically shift for me. So for those of you that signed up for the live training and we're going to be there live and not watching the replay, I still want to use this video in the comments for questions. So I'm going to be watching the video, even if it is a year's time from now and you're watching this. So if you found this on my YouTube channel, and you are stepping in to listen to this and you want to know about Akashic Record work and you want to lean into this, you can still lean into this. Put it in the comments, no matter what the timeline is. You are finding this video and this training for a reason at this exact moment of time. For those of you that are like, oh my gosh, because when I go into some of the ways I work within the records and how it shows up for me in my mission, and if you're like, oh, I'd really love to do that with you or learn more about that, just contact me directly. I will give you in the comments a way to do that. So you can lean in to that space as well, wherever you find this video and whatever timing you find this video on. Because what's happening, and let me give you this reference point as to why I was feeling called to teach this Akashic Records knowledge to lean into this conversation is because we are right now at a pivotal precipice of truth an expansion of truth, an expansion of leaning in to the ancient wisdom of truth, of spirituality, of allness, of oneness that vibrates through the earth right now that is moving through our collective of energy. And we're starting to see it show up in our life. We're starting to see ourselves being more aware. We're starting to see it move through the collective of energetics, the collective of energy moving through us. We're starting to see it pulse in the earth and it's starting to show up inside of us that we're looking for more and more not in a way of materialistic more in a in a way of connecting more in a way of connecting within ourselves and why i keep holding my heart here right now and pulsating on my heart is our soul and our mission on earth and our purpose on earth and our past lives and our akashic records reside in the heart and i'm going to give you details about akashic records on this on this video, I'm going to teach you about what it actually means to work within them, how we discover the truth in them and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go through the logistics side, but I want to set the framework up in the timing of why this is important. And whether you see this video on May the 6th or whether you see this video on November 10th, 2025, if YouTube is still around then, <laughs> you're going to be seeing this video in the exact timing that is needed for you. Now, some of us have been awakened to this truth inside of us, to this mission on earth, to the vibration of all energy for a long time. You know, I technically have been awake my whole life, even though I purposefully did things against my intuition as a child. And for some of you that knew me in my teens and early 20s, you will know that that is true because of some of the lessons I went through and the learnings and the actual like experience that I decided to go through in the world and in life, it was a crazy, crazy endeavor, like a crazy endeavor. You guys, I had to pause that for one quick second because I forgot I had boiling water for coffee on the stove. Okay. <laughs> and for those of you guys new to my world, I'm super transparent. I will give everything to you that I can and anything that I teach and move through because sometimes through the stories is how we get to shift and change and see things in our life. So let me get back crazy, crazy things, um, crazy adventures, crazy amounts of learning, you know, instead of like going down these bright, amazing, beautiful roads full of daisies, I was in like the narrow winding roads because I chose to do that, which is super interesting, right? So I've had a lot of different experiences through the way. 
And I choose, and I choose every single day now in this life to keep following my intuition, to keep working within the mission in my heart, to keep expanding and surrendering to surrendering to spirit, divinity, to the energy of all, to the collective out there that is actually us within us. Um, and we are one in unity with everyone, but sometimes our human experience doesn't allow us to see that. But I choose to live this way every single day. Now, some of you may choose to live in other ways, which is amazing. Each of us has our own rhythm and beat. And when we talk about Akashic Records and we talk about this amazingness of energy, let me give you some framework as to what this actually is. So if you imagine, and this is how I explain it all the time to clients that I work with, imagine a filing cabinet. Okay. And your soul. So we are a soul in this human experience, having a human experience. So we have a vibration in us and our soul resides in our heart, which I've already said. So before we get into this human form, our soul is floating around in the ethers, having a good time in other dimensions, you know, hanging out, whatever is happening and going on. And we make a decision and a choice to jump into this human form to come to earth to have an experience. So what happens is our soul drops into our heart chakra right here. We get a physical form as we birth out into the world through our mother. And now we're here on earth looking around. And the first couple of years, we remember our tie to our mission, to the actual universal truth, to the energy on the other side, to telepathic communication, to light language, to all the spiritual things. But our human cannot talk. And we it's hard for us to express ourselves in our human form. However, some parents have learned to telepathically communicate with their kids. Some parents are awakened, which I get. I fathom that if you are watching this video and you are in this space right now, if you have children, you are parenting them differently today than you ever did. Now, maybe five years ago, you were not awakened or have this level of knowledge, which is totally perfect in its landscape. But now in this moment of time, you are choosing to do things differently in your world, whether your kids are 25 or whether your kids are four, right? It's showing up in the collective now that that truth is running through a vibration that we're able to see it now and feel it and taste it and bring it into our body. So we're this young being on earth. We have a mission here. Every single soul on this earth plane has a mission. Every soul. Now, not every mission is the same and not every mission has large impacts, but your piece to the puzzle matters. Your piece to the puzzle matters. And sometimes we think it should be this big grandiose thing and we're looking for our purpose and we're like, blah, 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 in this space of purpose. I get it. Trust me. I work within this field all the time. And I'm like, wow, the energy coming through my third eye right now is so heavy and not in a way of like, I like, thank you. Now it just eased, but not in a way of like dense heavy, in a way of like potency heavy that it's making it hard for me to speak words to you while this energy is in my field. I'm like, wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's get back into this alignment. Thank you for easing up. I feel you. I honor you. I know that you're here serving. I get it. I really do. We're working within the keepers of the records right now, the vibrancy of truth, like this, this huge ass energy just dropping in to serve you guys today in this training. So I'm just trying to manage all of that. Okay. So we all have this impact and one person's impact could be to help their neighbor move through that illness. The next person's impact could be to be the best dad to that son that they could be right. And those impacts are necessary and needed. Not everyone's impact is thousands of people on a stage or writing a book to shift humanity, right? Each, each piece to the puzzle is needed. So we have this soul that resides in our heart that has a mission. Now, what the Akashic records are is that remembering of the mission. It's the filing cabinet to your soul. So all the lives that you've lived before this life have a record in the Akashic records. All the lives you will live in the future are in your Akashic records. Your soul's imprint is there. Your blueprint is there. Um, the dimension to which you serve is there. All of the answers that you've been seeking, higher self, higher connection, twin flame energy, soulmates, soul groups, all of it reside in the records. 
So when we learn to work within them or we get readings done in the records, we now have an open landscape to be able to have discussions, get answers, move through, get confirmations of energy, get timeline game plans. So what happens when we birth as souls in this world, there's a few key indicators or what we'll call pillars that move through our experience in this body. Now, we have free will, yay to that. And so sometimes our timeline is changed. Our timeline shifts because we have free will. So sometimes we make a decision that maybe isn't in alignment with this pillar of timeline that changes the timeline. But it doesn't mean that the pillar goes away. It just means the pillar gets moved. So sometimes, like my life, I had key pillars that I purposefully avoided through most of my 20s and finally realized it in my 30s and started to realign the timeline and bring them back into awareness. The pillar I'm working within right now of my soul's contract, one of my main lessons in life, could have happened earlier in my life if I would have got my shit together. Now, granted, I don't believe in regrets and I believe everything happens in this divinity and I understand the dynamics of what I went through, guys. I hold all of this and I own it. I own it, I own it, I own it. And I get it. But we have these key pillars of learnings, of experiences, of lessons learned, the wisdom we desire to take from this life that are in place in our world. And when we drop into our truth as a soul in our Akashic Records, we can find that out. And we can find out what key things are we working with in, in this life? How are we maneuvering this through in this lifetime? What does it look like for us? Why are we in the same patterns consistently all the time? Why does that keep showing up? All of those truths are answered in the records. So when we open up our records, we can dive into this truth. Now, a couple key things. So each person has a purpose on earth. Each person comes to earth to learn things. Now, a couple of other things that are happening in real time that most of us may not be aware of, and you may have to sit with this and swallow this pill because to our conscious mind, this doesn't make sense. However, to our soul that works within energy in a different dimension than just this physical suit, it makes so much sense. So we have what we call past lives, lives that we have previously lived. Now, technically, the only place in this whole universe, not just in Earth and not just in the Milky Way, but in this whole whole universe that we can't even fathom how big it is in our we can't even go there like as a human in um, a spaceship can't go there it can't go to the, we don't have the capacity to move through the dimensional shifts in a physical form of matter okay but there's this big massive place that has all these dimensions all these energies all these other places that we can go to technically earth is the only one that has time the only place that has time everything else works within a different grid system of energy. Meaning time is not linear in anywhere else but earth. So when we say past lives, like let's say you were a soldier in 1892. Now all of this information can come out in the records. We can find all the lives you've been in. Okay, we can go there and we can find where the pattern lies in your life now and if it's actually connected to another life which is showing up really dominantly right now, which I'm going to talk to you in a second. Let me put my finger up to remind myself to talk to this because sometimes I float so high that I forget to come back to a key point, which I'm going to hold, hold space for. So we had this life in 1892. Now, technically, because we work in dimensional energy as well as earth timeline energy, that life is happening at the exact same time as this life is happening. And you may be like, what? How does this make sense? It doesn't in the human world make sense at all. It doesn't. But time is not linear outside of this earth experience. So therefore, all these other times that you have been incarnated, past and future, are actually happening simultaneously at this exact moment of time. And that may baffle your brain. And you may have to chew that down and you may have to swallow it. But that is actually true. And I've seen it happen time and time again. So I have a girlfriend of mine, and this is what I want to speak to right now. And I got it. 
Yeah, I got it. Okay. I have a girlfriend of mine who has a son who is having major teeth pain. And he had major, he's had major teeth pain for the last couple of years. And it's really interesting and fun that at this exact same moment of time, six months ago, that she started this initiation of energy, a new level of energy she's embodying, his tooth pain accelerated. Six months ago, it did at this exact time, six months later at this exact time, different teeth though. And she says to me the other day, I just don't understand from a logical perspective how the pain can move from all these teeth. And they're trying to figure out it's nerve damage. They're trying to figure out, oh my God, it's an infection. They're, they're figuring out all these things that the human form goes to figure out because you want to get a tactile solution. Okay, a tactile solution, which makes sense to the human brain in a 3D experience in this body. Okay, this is a conduit, this body. If it's out of alignment, we get pain, right? If we are not in a purity of light, we get pain. And sometimes the lessons we learn, we need to learn through the pain of being that and transmuting it in life. Whether it's an illness we've had since we were kids, or if it's a vibration moving through our field since we were really young, it's something that we came here to learn. Okay, so this teeth pain is happening. So the other night I literally dropped in um, I've been doing this a lot lately in fluidity, especially since I've removed alcohol out of my field of awareness and really been working within a transmuting of energy. In the last program, I just taught channeling Hermes Trismegintis. And if you don't know who that is, he literally brought the truth to earth. One of his incarnations was in the energy of Toth and the Emerald Tablets, which hold all of the truth of energy in humanity. Okay. Amazing energy to channel. However, it's completely changed the game and who I am as a person, even just in two weeks of leading this program. So I'm sitting here in real time, two nights ago, I think it was three nights ago. And I said to her, it's past life. One of his lives, he was tortured and all of his teeth were pulled out. And whatever lesson he was going through then is a lesson he's going through now that he hasn't healed. So now we look at this and go, okay, so here's what we know. We know that the soul resides in the heart. We know that the Akashic records reside in the heart and they hold all the truth for our soul. We know that we've had past lives and we know now that the past lives are happening in the exact same time as we are moving through. Let's add another dimension to this. What's happening now in real time because of the energy shifts in the world and the acceleration of light and the ascension energy and we are called back into bringing the wisdom that has been buried in the earth for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Like when Atlantis fell, that energy started to get buried. And then it was passed on student to student into the world. And all the old scripts were buried into the earth and the old energy was buried. It's held still in certain vibrations of the earth. We'll see it in temples in Egypt. We'll see it in different dimensions of mountaintops when we move through different, like Mount Shasta, right in California. We see it there and feel it there, but it's only those who have awakened that get the key to go there. And we're watching the energy now move through the earth that that awakening energy is coming in hot. It's coming in more potent. It's coming in more pure. We're seeing the vibration move through the earth faster. We're seeing it. So what is happening now with timelines is that the lessons we didn't learn here are coming up right now for us to heal it in this body. And the energy is being transmuted over in real time while the timelines are collapsing. Now they're collapsing for us. Okay, we might look at this and go, oh shit, all the stuff I didn't heal back in these, time, in these times that I've been on earth and these experiences, which are technically happening, simultaneously. So what's happening in the energy is now the energy is coming in and multiple timelines are merging. So all these times that I was this are coming together. So all the times that I worked under Hermes, Hermes Trismegindus and his energy is now in my field. All the times where I was a witch using black magic are in my field now to heal because I can't do the work in the white magic, occult, hermetic philosophy and alchemy that I'm meant to serve the world with can't come out without me healing this life. All the times I was in, incarnated in Egyptian lineage are here. Wow. And these three lives or three 
multiple lives actually, and these three containers are in my field of awareness right now. So this is happening to you as well, because you wouldn't be right here at this point in time of this video if it wasn't. Okay, so how we move through this a couple ways. We can dive into the records inside of our hearts to find truth. Now, from an easy shortcut way, I'm gonna give this to you from an easy shortcut way. You can drop into your heart and open up your heart to get answers. Okay, they're in all of us. Now, if you're looking for more depthful work in the records, you're gonna have to either A, get some training along how to do that because we move through invocations. We get authority from the record keepers to move through it, especially if you're working with energy of others. You need to be trained in how to move this through. Because once we open the purity of the records within each of our souls, we can go in and do anything. And if you are not working in the purity of a vibration that is purely of light at the time, you can go distort some things and have a great old time changing timelines in ways that are not necessarily needed for your level of learning. So we've got to have some clout. So I don't just want to put this up on YouTube and go blah, 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 blah here. I'm not trying to hold it inside of me as a secret. But there's ways to get in that will help shift in, whew, man, my head pressure is really intense, to help shift in alignment for you in the purity of light. So the ways to get answers to your own questions, to your own self, to your own records is dropping in through the heart. And literally what you need to do is close your eyes. So let's just do this together right now. If you're driving, please do not close your eyes. If you're in this, doing things that you shouldn't be closing your eyes and don't do it but you literally are gonna to start to breathe. And all I want you to do is consciously breathe in energy through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you do that, you can become present in your body. The breath is a beautiful gift that we get that most of us don't consciously use. So as you bring it in through the nose and bring it out through the mouth, you now feel yourself grounding into your body. And the more you do that, the more you become in awareness right now. The thoughts you were thinking become dismantled, the energy around you leaves, and you are in a purity of light right here with me right now. Okay, and as you do that now, and as you feel grounded, and you may just want to pause this video for now to get grounded until you feel in your body. I can do this really quickly and fast because this is, I've learned how to do this through the years. And I don't even have to drop in anymore because I am dropped in all the time. But for you, you may need more time. So maybe you pause this video right now and you drop into your body, okay? And I'm gonna keep, like obviously you're gonna pause and now you're gonna come back on in this point in time. Or for those of you that are following with me and can do this quickly in real time with me, amazing. But as you drop in now and as your body relaxes and as you feel grounded, meaning you feel your seat, you feel yourself seated, you feel yourself in your body. If you touch your body, you're right here with yourself present in this moment of time. Then I want you to open up your heart. And as you open up your heart, so literally imagine your heart opening. So for those that don't know, this is the center right here of the heart chakra, right in the middle of the chest. And as you feel yourself opening here and you feel yourself stepping in here, allow yourself to move energy through. So let's imagine when you open up your heart, what do you feel? So allow a vibration to move through your body. Allow the energy to come out of you. Some of you who are visual may see a certain energy leaving your heart. You may see a light beam moving through your heart. You may see some sacred geometry moving through your heart. You may see an energy vibration moving through you to expand out into the room. Whatever it is for you now, just allow yourself to open. And when you feel your heart open here, and if you're not yet, just pause it till you feel your heart open, till you sit within and are present where you're not paying attention to anything else but your body and you in this moment of time. You then have your heart open and technically right now it's all you need. You connect into your higher self this way, you connect into your soul this way, you connect into your higher path and you can start to ask the questions deeper in your own records and getting the answers. Now, the next phase of all of this is that we can do clearings in the records, we can remove curses in the records, we can remove spells, we can remove distortion. Because what happens is as a soul is we drop into this physical form in this life. And what happens within this physical form in this life is that we come down with protection mechanisms around our energy. 
And as we become more human, meaning we forget that we're spirit, we move through experiences, someone takes us out at the knees, we start believing in shit that's not true because society conforms us to do that. We grow distortions in our field that are non-truths, okay? So when we open up the records and we dive in, we could feel that energy around us and we need to clear that energy around us. Our protection mechanisms and our spirit are dropped in some way, shape or form throughout our life, potentially, not everybody, but a lot of us have because we've been psychic attacked or someone took them from us or that kind of thing. Purposefully want us to not be in our light. So if I get you just to come back to me for a second here and let's talk about this. There's a distortion happening through the universe right now. This is a real thing. We're seeing shadow amplified in the world. And we're seeing it through all different mechanisms. We're seeing it in the infrastructures of our government. We're seeing it in the way people are trying to control others. We're seeing it in the mechanisms of what they're trying to do. Um, we're seeing it in the ways that they're trying to promote us to be eating things that are not actually healthy for our body. A lot of the calcification of our third eye, which is our connection to telepathic communication, our connection to enlightenment happens in here. A lot of this earth experience right now is being tainted because there's an overarching agenda around the earth right now of shadow. They want us to not feel our light. They want us to be diminished. They want our third eye to be calcified and our intuition to be diminished so we cannot lead with our light. And if you are watching this video right now and you got to this point in the video, you know this to be true because you wouldn't have stayed on because my vibration, you wouldn't be able to hold the vibration that I hold in the earth because I'm a disruptor of shadow. You wouldn't be here. And if you had shadow in your field right now that is maneuvering your life and controlling the fuck out of you, you would not be able to be here right now. You wouldn't. I, this is the truth. And this is what I know to be true because I've seen it time and time and time again. So when we work within the records, we get the answers as to what's going on in our energy. Like if you are in chaos and you feel doubt and you are doubting yourself and you feel guilty and you feel lost, you are working in shadow. There's shadow in your field. So the records allow us to get the answers to that and to clear them out. So a couple things without fucking shit around and fucking stuff up in your records, you can do a blast of energy. Now we'll get to the root of all of this. Most likely not. However, it will clear your field for a little while so you can move through and then maybe meet somebody that can help you or take the edge off of this, or you'll be called to something else. Okay. But when you drop it into your heart and you imagine emulating that light into the world, you can also transmute through the light of the energy from the heart, meaning you can just make an intention and go boom. And some days you may want to pull in sun energy because it's the purity of light we work within on earth. The sun is a healer, the sun solar rays, like you see all this like red light therapy, blue lights that you want to block and stuff like that. The sun emits all the lights and we can actually heal the body through the sun. That is also why one of the mechanisms of the control shadow in the earth is diminishing the sun in our life. Because once you're in the sun, you can actually heal and transmute any energy in the body. The body can reinstate its healing capabilities. The, what the sun does for hormonal stability in the bodies of both men and women is unheard of. It is so pure in its purity of light that the more sun you get and spend time in the sun without sunscreen because that was created to actually block the rays of purity from the sun you can then heal the body now don't take this as medical advice okay like there's a lot of other things around that like if you're eating seed oils the body will burn and all this dynamic of stuff but there's a purity of light within the sun so if you are really feeling shady energy and shady stuff happening and you're doubting your capabilities and you're not feeling confident Drop into that meditative state I gave you and open up your heart and bring in the sun energy. Imagine it flooding your body and pushing out anything that is of distortion. And now we know the purity of intention when we set an intention, as long as we believe it to be true, will happen. So you can use that to move energy. We also use a lot of fire energy to move and protect and clear. So you can imagine a fire burning shit up in your field. Now, when we work within the Akashic Records and we drive in deep into the Akashic Records, even just solely for ourselves, we can get to the root of spells. We can 
disassemble them. We can get to the root of like implants in the brain and portal ways open, negative astral travel, like all of these crazy things that are not crazy, that are actually a thing because we are a soul and an energy in this human form. And we know now that we're in multiple forms dealing with multiple timelines at once. So therefore we need additional tools and we have access to energy, right? And we need to use it and be really conscious of how we use this. Now I'm certified in the records. I've done multiple certifications over the last five years in the records in different degrees. I clear records. I do Akashic records, clearings and readings. And if you're feeling called to this, there'll be a link in the comments you can grab a hold of. Um, there are $555. We go in deep. I do all the sweep of it. And then we can ask questions in the records and you can do that. Now, my mission on earth now is to help others lean into the records and use it for themselves. Okay. So it channeled through me last year that I was meant to do an Akashic records training and certification program. And it's three levels. Now, anybody can take level one. Okay. You do not need to be a coach, a healer, or use it for anything because it's your records. Accessing your own records, putting up protocols around it so you don't fuck shit up, going into the depth of your soul, finding the mission on earth, getting into your impact, understanding your mission, understanding what's meant, what's meant for you at this time. Where are the key pillars? What are the key learnings? How are we moving through this? June 2nd and 3rd of 2023 is, my, is the first ever level one training. So if you're feeling called to that, there's a link down in, in these comments. You can check it out. You can check out the pricing structure. There's payment structures. There's all the different kinds of stuff. Level two and three are working within others. And level two is literally clearing others. Like I clear in the records, honoring literally channeled sessions, working within the depths of someone else's records. And then level three is the cool part. It's like the sacred ceremonies in the records. How do we cut cords? How do we remove demonic energy? Because that's actually a fucking thing. How do we accel accelerate power? Because most of us have been trapped in boxes in our power. We're in conformity in the world. How do we move through that, right? And it's a really cool thing. So if you guys are feeling this, feel free to go in the comments and check out the link. What else can I tell you about the records? The records are one of the highest vibrations of energy we work within because it holds the energy of truth. Every living thing on earth has an imprint in the records or a file, we'll say in the records. Every soul has their own file. Every being, every animal, every insect has their own file. Earth has a file. Soul groups have their own file. So I, my soul is actually what's called a, soul, a blueprint originator. And I don't incarnate very often. I only incarnate in human form when the earth blueprint is off. So if I go back in the past lives that I'm in awareness of that technically are still happening at this moment of time, including the fall of Atlantis is happening at this moment of time. And I'm not surprised I'm tapping into Toth who brought the knowledge of Atlantis to earth, um, like to earth as a purity of light, like everything that, that the shadow wanted to diminish in Atlantis was pulled in truth from Atlantis and put on the Emerald tablet. So if you don't know Toth and his experience in the Emerald Tablets, I highly encourage you to start leaning into that if you feel called. Beautiful, beautiful thing. So my soul group only incarnates in human form when the blueprint of the earth is off, which we can look around and see the blueprint is off, right? And the acceleration of light is happening. I've been incarnated in this body for 41 years, okay? Depending on when you listen to this, um, I may be 42 by then, but... I have learned and understood that I am on this earth for a massive reason. And a lot of you in my life that float in one-to-one -one containers or that float in programs are as well. And sometimes it's a hard swill to follow, a hard pill to swallow uh, being incarnated on this earth because it feels so big. And when we work within the records and we really understand the mission, it then becomes easier to swallow because we know it's in alignment and we know we're not fighting up against this, the fight is within us to pull it out and be. And when we work within that purity of light, it doesn't mean that I don't go through human experience and I don't go through emotions or any of that. I go through all of it, just like you, but I have a different level of awareness on it. So now when it drops into my field, I go, oh, what are you doing here? 
how are we moving through this? What does this mean for me? How is this showing up in my world and how do I move through this? And it's different. And it doesn't mean I don't have the breakdowns and it doesn't mean that I don't go through dark nights of the soul. And it doesn't mean that I don't fuck like even yesterday with the 555 eclipse and the portal way open and the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Are you kidding me? In the full moon? Like I was dealing with my own shit all week, even though I have knowledge of the pathway, but it makes it easier when we understand our mission on earth and we use the records and we use our ability to clear and we use our ability to create potency in our light and in our power to be able to step into that space. So a couple of takeaways from this, guys. And if you have questions about this, put it in the comments. I, I promise you, I will be on it. And I get notifications when people make comments. So like, I will feel this and I'm in YouTube almost every day. Okay. So like, because of the programs I lead, I throw them in playlists on YouTube because of the videos I put up, like I'm in YouTube almost every day. Okay. So I will be here. Do not shy away from asking a question. But if we look at the preliminary energy and you're like, Hey, I'm not feeling that I need to dive into the records. I'm not feeling I need to be certified or learn how to do this myself. Awesome. Take this with you. Start to lean into your heart and do that protocol I gave you to open up your heart more to get answers and use that protocol to clear your energy when you're feeling distorted, when you're feeling out of alignment, when you're feeling like you have nowhere to go. Start to do that until you feel called for more because some of us that may be everything that we need, but some of us are in a mission right now, a massive movement. And you need more clarity and more alignment and you need your energy field to be cleared. And I don't use the word need a lot, but the vibrancy coming in right now and potency, and I'm being directed to say that some of you need this now, whether now is May the 6th, 2023, or now is in five months from now, when you're watching this, this video, wherever it is, it's now, and you will feel it and you will know it because your mission is being activated and it needs to be in light meaning you're on a timeline in a pillar that needs to be activated now. And now you can go around and fuck around the pillar and do other things, but you are being pushed up against the wall. And most likely, if you feel this now, your mission has to come through for the ripple effect to maneuver through the puzzle piece you hold. So whether it's like you're the pivotal piece for that five-year-old to step into its next level and it cannot do that. And that five-year-old holds a massive piece for humanity's expansion, but it can't get there until you step into that. That's what I mean. So let me give you guys one other gift in this, in this session today is we work within a principle, which is one of the laws of earth and one of the principles of hermetic philosophy and the energy of truth, we'll say, of cause and effect. We take an action, there's a reaction every time, no matter what. And our action could be inaction, which then causes a reaction. Every time you are incarnated right now because somebody created an effect, your parents had sex and you are here. And now every action you take is creating a ripple effect in some way, shape or form in the world in your field, in your pathway, and in the landscape of it all. And it's crazy to think about it like that, but that is the truth. And you see it. You plant that seed, that seed grows or dies. That's what happens. So if you are being called to send out an email, but you are Netflix and chilling, instead of actually taking aligned action, you are feeling that move through your field. So if you are feeling the need to now clear energy and get answers and dive into the records, it's time. Some of you just needed this awareness to move through your field so that you could start leading with your heart and understanding a bigger purpose. And you may never get to the point of being activated in a new level because your level is right here and holding it right here. And that's the pace. And it doesn't mean it's good or bad. It just means that it is because every is is important. Not everybody is going to stand on the stage and impact 10,000 people, but your light might be the light that helps someone else get on the stage to impact 10,000 people. And every single person has a light, every single one, even if they're fucking living in shadow and being in shadow and doing shadow, they have a light in them, but they are choosing not to step into the light and they're choosing to hold a vibration of shadow. That is choice. And maybe we don't see it as choice but it is in the truth of universal alignment. 
So wherever you are on the spectrum and whatever you're feeling on the spectrum, I'm going to urge you today to trust it. And I'm going to make a call to action to you to keep stepping into this and keep honoring it. And if you want to work with me in some way, shape or form, just reach out and we can get this moving. And I do psychic sessions. I do one-off stuff. I have high level coaching. Like guys, my mission on earth is very, very clear. I'm a soul mission activator working to help align potency of power and truth back into the world and help you remember who the fuck you really are. That's what I do every single day of the week. And it's a lot of fun, but it's also heavy for a lot of people because our conditioning as humans has been to be small and conformed and stay in our box and don't speak out and follow the rules when all of that is an illusion. Because when we dive into the purity of our hearts and the purity of our records and the purity of our soul, every single thing that keeps us conformed and in a box is an illusion. And it's meant to be busted open and broken through and moved through. So I'm going to leave you with that today. If you have more questions about the records or any of this, please, again, put it in the comments. I'm here to serve. For those of you that signed up for the live training, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to serve this. But it, this also was a message for the collective, apparently, and it needed to get out onto YouTube for some other people to find it. So I always follow the call in the poll. And for those of you that are on my email list, amazing. If you want to be on my email list, send me a DM on Instagram. You'll find all the information literally down in the comments. And I can get you on my list and you can see what I'm up to. I'm up to a lot of things, guys. Because my energy is a big energy moving through the world to help people, to serve people at different levels. And I know my mission and I'm very clear about it because I've worked in the records to get it. And I've worked within my own purity of truth. You have a vibration that moves through you that is bigger than anything you can fathom in your mind. Start to lean in and trust. And through that, the purity of your light will accelerate in the world. And I'll see you guys all again soon. Bye for now.